Alrighty folks, welcome back to the Mavericks Dynasty. Today we're taking on number two Notre Dame. They are an A-plus in every regard. Just came off of beating Auburn pretty handily. And they're ranked 17th, so that's a good win for them. And in the last week, Ethan Adrian, our star tight end, starting tight end, has missed two of his exams and missed practice all week. So he will be serving a one-game suspension. Ironically, when we got a hold of him, finally at the end of the week, he sent us a text. And I quote, I ain't doing shit. So he has embraced his lazy streak, and so we had to punish him. It's got to be done. So freshman Jay Ross, the tight end from Detroit, Michigan, he, he'll he be getting his uh, feet wet here in the game. He did play a little bit last week. Notre Dame has an incredible defense. I'm so happy to see that. I do love this alternate helmet we got. It's absolutely beautiful. Again, Gerald Lewis out here, defensive tackle. Look at him. He's just so clueless on what's going on right now. Just making weird noises with his mouth. And 99 throw power and accuracy. That's going to be a pain in the ass. And all their corners are in the 90s. So I will be throwing a lot of interceptions. All right, they're down already. Just the place I wanted to be at. Looks like they got some coverage out here. X is open. Can we make the throw intercepted? Where did he even come from? Oh, this team is too good. These new sliders are going to eat me alive today, I have a feeling. I have a feeling this is not going to be a fun game for us. This is one of the best teams in the country. Good tackle by Scotty. We just got sent into the next generation with those blocks. John Gray. Got lit up. Where were you, bud? They go with a run, and he's going to get a first down out of it. I am absolutely appalled. Spreading us out. Four receivers. This is probably setting up an easy run for him. We can't get off of a block. And the slowest quarterback in history runs it in for a touchdown. Beautiful play, defense. This is going to be a long game. This is going to be a nightmare. Beautiful blocking on the outside there. Trey Trammell gets open. Beautiful. We really need to take the air out of the football here. Because I don't trust myself. Please get that out. Thank you. JJ, good work. God, why was he so slow there? Thomas Diggs. Great cuts. This formation's called Double Stuffed Oreos. We're going to see how this one works out. Nick Wilson, the center, just putting his head into his own teammate. Great first down. I have a glandular problem. And I cannot even get the pass off. That blitz was mean. Go ahead and take the field goal here. Oh, they, God, I always bite the wrong way, and now we're just getting flattened on the outside. Four receivers out here for third and inches. Lewis gets through, and he throws it off balance, fourth and inches. We're going to get a stop unless they go for it and ruin my day. They're punting it at the 37. I don't, I'm putting out the weird punt formation because I don't buy it. Okay, whatever, just punt it straight through. That made no sense. Tim Goss, the freshman. Nice fight. Trey Trammell with the easy grab. They're crashing the party out here. I was going to make that throw. Oh, God, I had to set my feet. I don't trust it because these corners are like lightning out there. And that's the problem with their corners is I don't trust anything I see because even if we got a... 
you know, more than a step, I just don't trust it because I feel like I'm going to get picked off again. Look, see, look at Square. Watch. Oh, good throw. Okay, I thought I was going to get jacked up. Holy God, Brian Williams was not warmed up and his throw was horrific. That being said, I'm just going to go for it because, I mean, why not? What do we have to lose here? Trey Smith, if he gets caught, I swear to God, I will launch an investigation. I had some guys open, still do. Robinson, great catch. I should not have thrown that because that linebacker was creeping though. Quick dump off, J.J. Taylor, great work. They're bringing both the safeties in. It's kind of making me want to do something wild. Yep, they're blitzing. Can I make the throw? Yes, Arthur Gardner, great throw by Trey Smith. The safety was creeping back there, but they sent their safeties, um, or maybe they kept one back, I don't know. As you can see, yep, they did send both the safeties. A little bit of a jailbreak there. You saw Gardner over there on the left side of the field. I, all I had to do was set my feet. I was scared that that little linebacker, though, 42, was going to make a stink. Going with the screen, I'm going to try to uh, get in the way. And Gerald Lewis just eats him up like his Cheeto dust after a long night of gaming on Fortnite. His controller is an absolute wreck, all sticky, but great wrap up there. Just, you love seeing this kind of stuff. Third and six here. I kind of don't like being in a zone, but we're going to have to just live with it because we don't have time to adjust. We're only sending three, so he's going to have all the time in the world. I tried, and he makes a bad throw. Adrian Jackson, three for six. Great coverage on the back end. Oh my god, Diggs just ruined people's ankles. And the oof, my god, this man is god. We're going to run a little bit of the hot dog and bologna special here. We got a ton of mass in the backfield. Um, so let's see how this one works out. Going to the center, Nick Wilson. He gets a free lane. That big man with his gut. How did he not stretch out for a couple more? No, 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 no. Hand off to our center. He's a little bit athletic. Um, was kind of a tight end prospect. Lewis here. Oh, he's making a block on the edge. Okay, I see you working there, buddy. But yeah, Wilson here just had a huge head of steam. It was beautiful to see. Thomas Diggs on the outside. He's got so much speed. Cutting it in on the stretch, and it was a great decision. And Thomas Diggs with a great cut. He gets in the end zone on that one. Eight-yard powerful run by Thomas Diggs. He's mostly a speed demon, a god of speed, but that play was just a thing of beauty with a great cut. He's got all gear in the pocket, and we knew somebody was going to get open. And we get through. Lewis does not get the sack, even though he hit him. What the hell was that? This quarterback is running in quicksand. He's garbage. I mean, look at this crap right here. Lewis just throws himself at him, misses the tackle, slid off him like some kind of jello or something. I pick my play. Thanks, game. Thank you, EA, for letting me pick my play. That's, oh yeah, that just right there is a prime example of greatness. I mean, why wouldn't that happen? What is so unrealistic about breaking 38 tackles on one play? Tight game at the half. The fans are understandably kind of upset. Yeah, just this is going to just, yeah, this makes a lot of uh, logical sense. Just break the tackle too. Um, yeah, okay, Paul Brown, give me a break. How many tackles are you going to break on one play? I'm blitzing. I got destroyed. And we rally. Okay, negative two. I tell you what, man. These sliders are no joke. They are definitely more challenging and good pursuit, guys. Thought he was going to the middle, and uh, he was. Arthur Gardner, great work on that slant. And we get a great hole up the middle. J.J. Taylor takes advantage of it. And the triple option, again, is just serving us greatly today.
Jay Ross, great catch. Had to get it out quick. And great blocking by the O-line. Jay Ross open on that route. Third down clutch conversion for Brian Williams. Great blocking in Tim Goss, the freshman. Actually, he's not a freshman, I don't think anymore. Ryan Flowers, freshman running back. He has not gotten many carries in his career, so we're happy to see him get involved. And the triple option. Great block on the outside by the tight end, Jay Ross. Trey Smith scrambles it in. He's been having a rough game, I'm not going to lie, but that is a great use of the triple option. Really, my passing game has been kind of bad today, so this triple option and all these weird formations we've been coming out on have been really good. He went with the running back. Again, Jay Ross on the outside. We see you out there working. Running with the quarterback. We should not need a spy for this guy. It's absolutely illogical and embarrassing that we do. Yeah, that's him, Sanders, right? I remember recruiting him, or we failed to get him, but... Okay, we just got punked. Oh, boy. Oh, my God, I just shot through that gap so quick and still failed miserably. Going with the four verts, and Jamal McPherson brings him down for the sack. Great pursuit. Oh my goodness, they just mossed me on that one. I got absolutely lit up. Oh, we missed it. And we just all ate dirt. David Robertson, that's that fast receiver they got. Damn you, David. Brian Bell again wide open. Oh my god, Trey Smith, why did you miss that throw? We had Trey Trammell wide open. He shares your freaking name, and you just, this is where I miss John Harvey so much. And I just pressed a random button. Gonna stretch it out, that's a miss. Oh, that's a tackle, okay. GOS, nice, I see you out there. And just a Dotterino on that one. Going with a weird quarterback play. He somehow breaks tackles. Jamal McPherson tracks him down, though. Going with the option. We got to make the tackle. Please, somebody make that tackle. Thank you. And that keeps it a one-possession game. We still have a chance, but with Trey Smith's arm at this juncture, I don't think we can really do much in the passing game. Oh, that was some beautiful blocking out there. Travis Thomas, our corner. My finger is about to slip off the freaking button. Now you're probably thinking, a minute 41, that is a ton of time. And yes, it is. With my crappy defensive play calling, anything could happen here. We could get shredded in one play. Ah, we got lit up on that one. At this point, we may be at the spot where we just need to let them score. They're already in field goal range. Turn around, somebody. Please make a play. Bringing out the goal line defense um, just to hopefully let them score, but it looks like they are going to smartly probably end this with a run. Just don't tackle them, guys. Damn it. And we let them score. Still, we have barely any time. Go ahead and uh, throw up some Hail Marys here. Not going to do much of anything, but... Okay. Well, now we got one shot. We got some guys, but I don't really know what to do here. Don't get in my way. Brian Bell! Oh my goodness, Brian... Folks, I cannot even believe that just happened. I scramble to the left. I see the guy. He's got. He, he's a, not open. I don't know why he's calling for it. I knew this was the spot right here where he's going to turn around and run the uh, pretty much the opposite way. That's how the game always works. 
I thought it was over here. I thought we were done. I thought I got ran into. I thought he's going to make the tackle here. Oh my god, he just falls in. I am in shock. I knew I was going to have to extend the play, but... I didn't think we were going to pull it off. He's going to run it. Why are we getting flattened? That's a corner route. I didn't. I covered the other side, but I couldn't stop both sides. It's unfortunate. I knew that play was coming, and I still bought it. Gonna run with it. That was scary. All our running backs are hurt. We're down to like our third and fourth stringer. It's not a great day. Robertson. Oh, we got ran into. Run on the read option. Trey Smith does not get it. Corey Kaysen holds on, gets demolished. We're going to go ahead and Ryan Flowers, the young running back, two yard touchdown. We're back in this thing. Run on the read option. Trey Smith runs a man over. Got to make it in the corner of the end zone. Jay Ross, the tight end, the freshman, 13 yards. We score here, and um, that gives us a little bit of breathing room. And just like that, the defense can become a hero here. We've been a sieve all day. And he comes back to it, Robertson. We are not, there's no way we're getting past this overtime. There's no way with that kind of garbage. Wide open. Going with the run. We string it out. Miss about 100 tackles. Third and two. Third and two. They're going to run it with the quarterback. And he is going to get a touchdown off of it. Got to go for two in a third overtime. I really have no idea what play to call. So I just call something stupid. And he's wide open. Go figure. And that's probably the loss of the game, boys. Sorry, we can wrap this one up. I probably had a guy open. Square is open, Robinson. I had a guy open. And I just throw it right to the defensive tackle. Yeah, a defensive tackle just intercepted me. to lose us the game. Not gonna lie. Pretty salty about it. The salt is just overflowing. Sodium levels are just too much. A defensive tackle. Give me a break. Number 92, we're putting a hit out on you. And just like that, we blow it. Our first loss in a long while, their quarterback, Adrian Jackson, as far as I'm concerned, can go, you know, blow the rest of the locker room. You hate to see games go this long and this epic, and you lose it. Um, he's got great accuracy, but maybe we send out a hit, man. Maybe, uh, maybe he doesn't make it home. In stats on the day, Brian Williams, 7 for 9, 118 yards, 1 touchdown. He was great through the air. Trey Smith, 13 for 28, 123 yards, 2 touchdowns, 2 picks. Rushing-wise, Diggs had 60 yards, beautiful 6 average. 1 touchdown, Trey Smith got a touchdown. He had a great day on the ground. JJ did good for 26 yards, Tim Goss. The young running backs here, Ryan Flowers, he hasn't played much, got a few carries and a touchdown for himself. Nick Wilson did pretty good on his little attempts. Gardner, our leading receiver with a touchdown. Robinson had 88 yards. Jay Ross had 3 for 30 and a touchdown. Brian Bell got himself a touchdown. Trey Trammell, 2 for 24. Taylor and Kaysen also chipped in. Matt Quick, again, leading the team with tackles. And Greg Holden, 2 safeties. TFL-wise, Gio West got 2. McPherson got 2 in a sack. Wagner got one, Travis Thomas got one, Gerald Lewis got one, and Steven Doty got one. And TJ got both of his field goals. Kick return wise, um, Travis Thomas, the corner, he had to do it because both our running backs were hurt and he absolutely killed it with a touchdown. And after that loss, we are going to drop down to number 10, which does not theoretically put us out of anything. We still could get to the natty. Oh, we just needed a lot of teams to lose, but it's a long season. Notre Dame is number one now, so, I mean, 
You can't be too mad about it, but I'm probably going to cry over this one for weeks. But next up, we are going to be taking on number 23, Auburn. They are in A. Not as good as Notre Dame, but we do need this win. It should get us some good recognition if we can do it. But really, we don't want to drop two in a row. That would be cataclysmic. Their quarterback's looking a little iffy. It looks like I'm controlling them with the even touchdown and interception ratio. Auburn has kind of some good losses, so it's not necessarily a bad thing for them. We're just going to have to lick our wounds and move on, see what else we can do in conference. If you made it this far into the video, consider subscribing. The rest of the season is going to have to be good for us. But that is going to do it for this episode. Peace out.